Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this part 2 of program components, we are going to see what forms a regular expression. The new thing we saw in previous video was regular expressions and to get email addresses from all our contacts, we use some regular expression like the one shown here. So most of you will be wondering like what is half of the symbols in this expression mean? Are there more of these symbols? If yes, then what do they mean? So in this video, I'll be com covering the components that make this regular expression. Regular expression can contain characters, meta characters, operators, tokens and flags that specify patterns to match. Here I'm going to talk about these characters, meta characters and other things. I will start with the meta characters. These meta character represents letters, range of letters, range of digits and space characters. In this table, we can clearly see the meta character, the description of it and the example. So we have a dot or a period that says that any single character including white spaces. Then we have not C1, C2, C3 that says any character that is not contained within these brackets. So like for example, if we say not RNP AIN that matches all the four data sequence that end in AIN except rain and pain. Then we have the range of C1 to C2 that is any character range in between C1 through C2. And some more we have like forward slash S small s that says any white space character equivalent to forward slash F forward slash N and so on. Then we have slash D that is any numeric digit equivalent to 0 to 9 and slash capital D that is any non digit character equivalent to not 0 to 9. These are our meta characters that are used in a regular expression. Then we have character representation. There are some operators that describe some particular characters like for example we have forward slash A that describes an alarm. Then we have forward slash B that describes a backspace. We have forward slash N that describes a new line. Forward slash F that describes a form feed. We have a forward slash R that is a carriage return. We have forward slash T that is horizontal tab. We have forward slash V that is vertical tab. And forward slash character that is any character with special meaning if we have to match it literally. So this is how we can represent our characters in a regular expression. Then we also have a quantifiers that form in regular expression. So when an expression is followed by a star, we mean that zero or more times consecutively that expression should be matching. If we have expression followed by a question mark, we have zero times or one time it should be matching. If we have expression followed by a positive uh, plus sign, it means that one or more times consecutively it should match. If we have expression and in curly braces we pass M and M, so it says that at least m times but no more than n times it should consecutively match. If we write with expression m comma nothing then at least m times consecutively it should match. These are the quantifiers that determine like how many times that the expression should be we need, that expression should match. Then we have anchors. Anchors is like whether anchors uh, in expression match the beginning or end of a string or word. So if we start with the anchor before the expression, it is like beginning of the input string. If we like dollar after an expression, it is like end of the input string. Similarly, if we write forward slash bracket, it is a beginning of a word. Then if we write forward slash closing bracket, it is an end of a word. Now look around assertions. Look around assertion, look for string patterns that immediately precede or follow the intended match, but they are not part of the match. The pointer remains at the current location and the characters that correspond to the test expressions are not captured or discarded. Therefore, look ahead expression assertions can match overlapping character groups. So we have expression like a question mark equal to test that is look ahead for characters that match that of test. Similarly, we have question mark not test that look ahead for characters that do not match for test. Then we have question mark less than equal to test that look behind for characters that match test. And we, we have question mark less than not equal to test that look behind for characters that do not match the test. So these are the four simple look around assertions. 
then we have logical and conditional operators these allow us to test the state of a given condition and then use the outcome to determine which string if any to match the next these operators support logical or if for a if else conditions these condition can be tokens look at out assertions or dynamic expression of the form so we have expression 1 or expression 2 that matches expression 1 or expression 2 if there is a match with expression 1 then expression 2 is ignored then we have question mark condition expression if the condition is true then we match the expression similarly we have question mark condition expression 1 or expression 2 then it's like if condition is true then we match with expression 1 otherwise we match with expression 2 if condition is false then we have token operators token are portions of match text that you define by enclosing part of the regular expression in parenthesis we can refer to a token by its sequence in the string an ordinal token or assign names to tokens for easier code maintenance and readable output so we have uh, expression in thighs inside a parenthesis that is describes as capture in a token the characters that match the enclosed expression then we have forward slash n that matches the nth token then we have question mark n for expression 1 or expression 2 say if the nth token is found then match with expression 1 otherwise expression 2 and so on search flags modify the behavior for matching expression the expression that flag modifies can appear either after the parenthesis or inside the parenthesis and separated from the flag with the colon so these are the flags that are available for regular expression and the description for them is this it's quite straightforward so I'm not going to go into detail moving on there are two types of look around assertions for regular expression the first is look ahead and the second is obviously the look behind in both the cases the assertion is a condition that must be satisfied to return a match to the expression a look ahead assertion has the form question mark equal to test and can, can appear anywhere in a regular expression MATLAB looks ahead of the current location in the string for the test condition if MATLAB matches the test condition it continues processing the rest of the expression to find a match for example look ahead in a path string to find the name of the folder that contains a program file this example I have demonstrated here so we have a string that is which read file that uh, string is basically the path to the file so now we have a regular expression like this shown and I'm going to match it for it so we will get an IO func that is the folder that contains this file read the match expression forward slash w plus searches for one or more alphanumeric or underscore characters each time regular expression finds a string that matches this condition it looks ahead for a backlash specified with two backlash followed by a file name with an m dot m or dot p extension the regular expression function returns the match that satisfies the look ahead condition which is the folder name io func now overlapping matches look ahead assertion do not consume any characters in the string as a result you can use them to find overlapping character sequences for example we uh, for example here we are going to use this overlapping matching sequence to find a sequence of six non white space characters in a string so basically we are here we are going to find a, every sequence that has six non white space character that has initial character that precedes five additional characters that is not a space so at index one we get locate that is L followed by five characters that is O C A D E. Similarly at index eight we have Severa that is S E V E R A that is S followed by five characters. Then location nine we have E V E R A L that is E followed by five characters. Similarly at index sixteen, seventeen, twenty four and twenty five. So these are the our overlapping matches. So how to avoid these overlapping matches? so this is where the look ahead operators comes in without the look ahead operator MATLAB passes a string from left to right consuming the string as it goes 
If matching strings are found, regular expression records the location and resume passing the string from the location of the most recent search. So to have uh, no overlapping in such cases, we are going to use the look ahead operator and we are going to uh, li uh, write something like this. So up after this, we will get the index answer as 1, 8, 16 and 24. Logical AND condition. Another way to use a look ahead operation is to perform a logical AND between two conditions. This example initially attempts to locate all over case consonants in a text string. This test string in a place is a 50, first 50 characters of help for normest function. So we will write help text with help normest and we will take only the first 50 characters of this help text into string which comes out to be normous estimates the matrix to norm. So now we are going to write a regular expression that will basically search for uh, basically search for string that returns a non-vowel I mean that does not include a vowel A E I O U but as you can see by writing this regular expression we do get a vowel in our search so how to avoid this so to avoid this, we will try the same example using a look ahead operator to create the following AND condition. That is a lowercase letter AND not a vowel. So this time we will get a correct result with no A, E, I, O or U. So this is how we can use look ahead uh, operators in logical AND conditions. Tokens in regular expression. When we are using parentheses in regular expression, we are not only grouping them together, but we are also designating any matches found for that group as tokens. We can use tokens to match other parts of the same string. Before moving on, let's take a small example. For a simple example, say if we wanted to search for identical sequential letters in a string, we could capture the first letter as a token and then search for a matching character immediately afterwards. So in this expression highlighted a ye yellow shown here, we have first phrase that is backslash s that creates a token whenever regular expression matches any non white space character in the string. The second part of the expression that is backslash 1 looks for a second instance of the same character immediately following the first. So we have matching strings stored in mat as dd, pp, dd and pp and token as stored in variable tok which are d, p, d and p. So one of the advantages of using token is that they remember what they matched. So you can recall and reuse match text in the process of searching or replacing. Each token in the expression is assigned a number starting from 1 going from left to right. To make a reference to a token later in the expression refer to it using a backslash followed by the token number. For example when referencing a token generated by the third set of parentheses in the expression we use backslash 3. Let's take another example. For this example, we are going to capture pairs of matching HTML tags. For example, anchor tag, break tag, bold tag and also the text between them. So for this purpose, we are going to write the expression as return in expression variable. I have also enlarged it at the lower so you can see. So there are three parts to that expression. We have part one. The first part of the expression matches an opening bracket followed by one or more alphabetic, numeric or underscore characters. The enclosing parenthesis capture token characters followed following the opening bracket. The second part of the expression matches the remainder of this HTML tag that is characters up to the closing bracket and any characters that may precede the next opening bracket. The last part matches all the characters in the ending HTML tag. This tag is composed of sequence like end tag, end anchor and all that. So how tokens are assigned values? Suppose that we are going to search the text as highlighted in yellow. Let us choose a certain search pattern. Let me highlight that pattern in blue. So this expression has three parenthetical expression that generates token. When the search is finally performed, following tokens are generated for each match. 
so for andy we have token 1 that is y for ted we have token 1 to be t and token 2 to be d for andrew we have token 1 to be rew any we have token for uh, y for ted we have token t and d so the point to note is that only highest level parentheses are used for example if search is uh, as shown here in blue that is and y or rew this pattern finds the text andrew and the token one is assigned the value of rew however if the search pattern if i add parentheses in front of and and after rew then the token one is assigned to the value of complete text that is andrew this concludes our uh, video on regular expression in the next video in the next part of program components we are going to look into comma separated list this comma separated list is another one of the major components for our program so until then please subscribe and thanks for watching